Alright, what's up guys? Dustin and I, we're back out here once again. Um, you can see we're kind of bundled up because the cold front just hit us. Uh, it's about 55 degrees right now. So we decided to switch it up and we're going to fish for sheep's head. Maybe some redfish to see what we can get. Uh, we just left the bait store. We got about 10 dozen feather crabs, some shrimp, and uh, we might net a few more for some cut bait later on, but we'll see what happens. Right now we're fishing this oyster bar that we know that usually has sheep's head. So. Hi guys, I just, just lost a nice sheeps. Dustin just lost one. <laughs> so uh, we're going to get rigged up and uh, get fishing. We'll show you uh, how we're rigging up for that in just a second. So all we're doing today, 20 pound fluorocarbon. <clears throat> what is this? A number five split shot. And about, oh, anywhere from five to, you know, 12 inches. With a size, anywhere from a size four to a size two octopus hook. And just hooking a feather crab on. And we're just fishing around oyster beds, docks, any type of little structure right now is holding cheap side this time of year in this really cold, windy, crappy day. Underneath the fiddler crab, there's a little soft line you can see right there. Kind of a little bit lighter color than the rest of the crab. All I'm doing is taking my tip of my hook, sticking it in that part, going up through the center of the crab basically, and just barely sticking the tip of the hook out the top. And that's exactly how I rig it, right there. That's how he kind of sits in the bottom, just kind of crawls around. And it's just sheep's head candy. <laughs> Little tap tap. <laughs> All right, Steve, he's got the first sheep set of the day here. It's a monster. It is a monster. Look at that thing. <laughs> still counts. I didn't think I had anything on the hook, but he just kept swimming towards me up until he got about 10 foot from the boat. So, set him free. I like this man. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, so uh, yeah, I was just fishing this little deep trough right here and ended up getting hit. Brandon went to grab the camera, so I got his rod kind of held between my legs, waiting for another bite, see if I can't get a little double hooker here. Nothing monstrous, definitely nothing monstrous, but it'll get bigger eventually throughout the day, we hope. We're going to get this guy back in the water, little fella, little little blood. See you, little guy. Oof. All right, guys, so Stevie just hooked up on uh, another little sheepers. Nothing monstrous, but, you know, they're actually getting a little bit bigger. He's a little bigger. He's a little bigger. He's peeing all over the place. <laughs> he peeing all over you. He's peeing all over you. Great. Look at that. Uh. Oh! oh. <laughs> you gotta do boat duty. Oh, man. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, great. Yeesh. Yeah, just like that. There you go. Got it. Yes. Never fails. <laughs> I was hoping this food crab spilled all over the place. That would have been great. <laughs> Because it would have been right. like old times. <laughs> Look, Dustin didn't do it for once, guys. <laughs> Couple sheep said here, guys. We're not catching monsters right now, but we've only been fishing this first spot for about 10 minutes. So we're going to keep getting after it, and Stevie's going to clean up the sheep's head poop. <laughs> <laughs> He's so All right, guys. So I definitely hooked a little bit better sheep's head. Maybe it's not a sheep's head. Oh, it's a. Is it a sheep's head? Yeah, it's a sheep's head. Almost thought it was a black drum. Oh, that's a bigger one. Bigger size there. I got <laughs> my dual <laughs> rod pole holder, guys. The dual rod setup. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. That might make the legal mark. That one's definitely a legal mark. Legal sheep's head. Not bad. Can't complain about that guy. I don't know if you guys can see on the camera, but if you look, it almost looks gold right here in the scales. Pretty cool light shining off it that is a nice sheep's head i don't know guys if you guys didn't keep it let it go keep it we'll measure just be on the safe side oh yeah oh yeah in the well he's not happy he's he's not happy at all but he's gonna taste good. That might be taco meat right there.
Let's go, sheepers. I got the GoPro. Come on, horse them in. Yeah, not terrible. Probably a keeper. Was a little players. They're a little rowdy in there. <laughs> We're gonna get back after it. All right, it's about. Whoa! Quick release. <laughs> All right. Oh, little guy here. So there's definitely a school of them. He hit with some force. He's got it. All right, take two. <laughs> there's definitely a school of them over there. They're not giants, but they're here. Feather crab seems to be the way to go right now, and uh, we're going to send this guy back. That's a good one. That is a good one. That's a good one. What the frick just happened? Oh, God, I almost hit the feather crabs over. All right, guys, so this is Brandon's rod he hit me so he can grab the camera for Steve. Happens, always happens. And I literally got hit and I tried to set the hook and I ended up setting the hook on. Oh, real big one. Yeah, boys. Oh, yeah, boys. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, the big one's on Brandon's rod. And, uh. The swallower? Oh, she's way down the gullet on this one right now. Two decent sheep's head right there, guys. Mine's like <laughs> <laughs> yours is taking a crap, crapping everywhere. Damn things. Basically, what happened there was Stevie hooked one, and we're like, "Well, that's a better one." So Brandon handed me his rod to grab the camera. I got hit on my rod, and then I got hit on Brandon's rod, and I thought I missed them both. So while they were filming Stevie, while she was getting the hook out, I started reeling in, and line came tight. Drag started peeling, and I'm like. Okay, I got a decent sheep's head, and it ended up being Brandon's rod, of course, when he didn't, wasn't holding the rod. So, you know, that's how the cookie crumbles seems like for Brandon lately. The last couple trips, he hasn't had the best luck in the world. <laughs> but uh, we're going to get this guy's definitely gonna kept. We're going to measure Stevie's to make sure it's legal. But this guy's definitely going to get kept. That's, uh, that's some good eating right there. That's 12 all day. Boom! Boom! <laughs> 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 Seems like I can only catch a dink. <laughs> That's a fatty. Look at the belly on that thing. He's a fatty, buddy. Uh, not gonna make keeper. I don't think. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That one on the tape didn't take that. Perfect hook set right there. Look at that. Right in the corner. That's a keeper. Another one to add to the box here. This is what, our fourth one? I think so, yeah. And we got about four right now. They're not happy in there. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're going to re rig because I think all of our rods are busted off right now. All right, guys, so I just hooked a solid sheep's head. Definitely. Now, if I can just keep them buttoned up, we'll see what happens. I'm calling it the dinker. Oh! Oh! We almost had a double up on camera! It was a heavy one too. Oh my god. Oh, this is, oh look at the sheep's head chasing the sheep's head right now, Brandon. Look at him. See him chasing oh, it? Oh, the little one. <laughs> Come on. Get up here, you big bugger. Yeah, that's a definite Whoa. sheep's head. There she is, boy. Dude, I hooked into one just like that. I'm not. Dude, that's a nice sheep's. Finally, we're getting into some decent sheepers. We're gonna get a picture of this one and then in the live well. I think five sheep set in the box right now. We're gonna get a couple more. Alright guys, so Stevie just hooked a decent sheep set by the way it looks. It's pulling pretty good. Let's we'll see if she can get it in. Keep fighting it. Keep oh. fighting it. Brandon just missed a monster. The sheepers. Oh man. Boom. Nice little sheepers there. Flopper boys, flopper! All right, say goodbye, guys. Bye, guys. Hey, Brandon. Yeah. You gonna uh, catch one of them big sheepers that keep messing you up, or are you just gonna keep letting them mess you up? We still got bait, boys. 
We got a lot of bait, boys. We still got a whole bucket of shrimp in the back. And a bag of frozen if we need to. We're looking for that, that 16 or 17. And I feel like they're here, but just keep missing them. I'm going to say that it's probably a dinker. <laughs> oh, it's super dink. Look at the little fella. Solid 10 incher. <laughs> just my luck. Oh, nice. All right, this is probably like the 10th one we caught and they're just all this size, maybe a little bit bigger. Well, we got five keepers, but we want that big one. Really want that big one, so later, buddy. All right, Stevie, catch a big one. Yep. Hook him up, hook him up. She is freaking out, guys, because she thinks fiddler crabs are just a spider of the sea. <laughs> Brandon stole the fiddler crab. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to move over to this little corner here. We're going to try for some redfish, maybe. We've got like five or six sheeps in the box, and that's good enough for us. We have tons and tons in the freezer, so we're going to shoot around here and uh, use some shrimp, maybe catch some uh, pinfish or mullet, see if we can pull a couple reds. Oh, oh. This is a good one. Oh, slap there. Might be keeper, guys. Might get, might have a keeper here. He. Oh yeah! Finally got away from that. There we go. There's a leader. Really? Yeah. yeah it is. Check this out, guys. There's another leader sticking out of this sheep's head's mouth where he got busted off. Probably today. Definitely the biggest one I've caught today. He's probably, I don't know, 15. Might need the pliers for this guy. Yes. All right, guys, my best sheep's head of the day. It's It's been a struggle for us, for real, but check this out. You can see, look, it's a whole nother leader in this sheep's head's mouth. So he had been hooked today and busted somebody off. Could probably dust him. That's all right. Let's see what this guy measures real quick. Good, 15-er. All right, 15-inch sheep's head, guys. He's going in the box with the rest. In he goes. It's crazy in there. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Dick life. Let's see if I can shake him off. And he's gone. Big <laughs> release. Oh, that's a solid one. That's a solid one. We got her. We just need a sinker. Okay, bud. All right, guys, that's a probably another good fatty 15 incher. Uh, I'm not even gonna worry about measuring him because we know he's gonna keep her size, but he's gonna go in the cooler, not cooler, he's gonna go in the bait well and uh, might catch a couple more here. We'll see what happens. See if Dustin can actually catch one. Oh, <laughs> Stevie just got soaked. <laughs> Sheeps don't like Stevie. Oh, 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 dink life. Yeah. <laughs> Smallest one of the day. I can put this in my fish tank. <laughs> He's so cute. Look at him. Slobber, dude. Slobber. And little guy. All right, guys. So the bite kind of died for Dustin. He can't catch anything else. Not a bad day for a quick trip for some sheep's head. Feather crabs is like our choice. We just feel like we get hooked up more on cheap set with feather crab. We probably got, I don't know, maybe seven keepers in the box that we're gonna take home and uh, fillet up, have a nice dinner tonight. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys drop us a like. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel so you guys can see more. And we'll see you guys next week.